Donald Trump wants to ease the pain that farmers are feeling as a result of his tariffs and this ongoing trade war by offering them money. So uh, the Trump administration announced up to 12 billion dollars in emergency relief for farmers hurt by this trade war. Now, funny enough, uh, this is not an admission of guilt by Trump. It is not uh, a concession indicating that this trade war has been disastrous for American workers. It's just a, a, a band-aid and, and essentially Trump begging farmers to remain patient as he negotiates in these uh, trade agreements. Now, uh, the department will draw on the financial resources of a program known as the Commodity Credit Corporation, which helps to shore up American farmers by buying their crops. The actions today, according to Sonny Perdue, who's the Secretary of Agriculture, are a firm statement that other nations cannot bully our, agriculture, our agricultural producers to force the United States to cave in. The administration will not stand by while our hardworking agricultural producers bear the brunt of unfriendly and illegal tariffs. Now, the unfriendly tariffs were implemented by Donald Trump. This trade war did not have to happen, but it happened because he decided to, out of nowhere, uh, slap on uh, steel and aluminum uh, tariffs, which led to retaliatory tariffs on US products, namely uh, agricultural products. Now, American soybeans, pork, sugar, orange juice, cherries, and other products now face tariffs in foreign markets that make their products less desirable. So are the farmers buying it? Are they happy with this? Essentially, Trump is gonna pay them off. Like, here's the money, please stop complaining about this trade war. Well, uh, from what we've seen from the farmers so far, they are not in favor of this. They think that this is a Band-Aid, it's a short-term solution. And they're actually worried about what this means in, in regard to uh, contracts that they worked really hard for years to establish uh, with you know, foreign countries. So first, Ben Sass, who has been a critic of Donald Trump, even though he's a Republican, said that this trade war is cutting the legs out from under farmers and White House's plan is to spend $12 billion on gold crutches. This administration's tariffs and bailouts aren't going to make America great again. They're just going to make it 1929 again. And uh, the official statement from the executive director of Farmers for Free Trade said the following. This proposed action would only be a short-term attempt at masking the long-term damage caused by tariffs. So Trump likes to say that we're getting taken advantage of by China, for instance. And look, the fact of the matter is, yes, there is a trade deficit, meaning that we import more from China than we export. However, we owe China about $1 trillion in debt. Just something to keep in mind. I mean, it's- There's it's, so much about this story that's pretty interesting to me. Like, it proves that Trump has no like ideological through line. Mm -hmm. It is simple, the only ideological through line I could say is like the individualistic tenets of conservatism. In that like, listen, people, the, you, you look at it through your own, you know, a, tr attempt to gain some kind of measure of success. Like that is a very fundamental thing. And so he just kind of band-aids together little bits of a coalition and he says like, all right, farmers, I'm going to supplement you with a large government handout, mm -hmm. which like giving farmers money to do what they do, like harvesting wheat, is like straight off of like a communist propaganda poster. Like it looks like that's that's what was in like Russian we can do this commercials. Mm -hmm. and I'm not saying there's anything right or wrong with that. I'm just saying that it's so strange. Another strange little bit is that Sonny Perdue is our agriculture. I know, I know. Sonny Perdue, if memory serves, was the guy that became, he like ran for governor of Georgia and he, or he became governor of Georgia and the main like issue, one of the main issues in that race was like he, it was that the previous governor had not eliminated but reduced the size of the Confederate flag on the state flag. And Sonny Perdue was like, that's wrong. I mean, I, but and he's a short it's not surprising in, in, in Trump era politics. I mean, the very guy who says he's gonna drain the, the swamp uh, then pursue, proceeded to you know, nominate all sorts of people who worked in you know, corporate companies and, and 
have done everything to dismantle any type of protections there are for consumers, for the environment. For, yeah, of course he's he's the head of the agriculture department. So of weird. course he is. By the way, um, so just to be clear, as of May of 2018, the United States has owed China 1.18 trillion dollars. Okay, so. Uh, if China really wanted to retaliate, look, this is the nuclear option. Nuclear option is always there as a threat, but it should never be utilized. But who knows? In this climate of politics, you never know what could happen. So um, if China wanted to, they could put our economy in a complete tailspin by dumping US Treasury bonds. Right. Yeah. I mean, I don't think that's going to happen because that would also hurt their economy tremendously. But this whole narrative that Trump has regarding China taking advantage of us. I mean, we are not innocent in this whole situation either. And yes, there is a huge problem of China stealing trade secrets. That's been an mm -hmm. ongoing issue. And I like that Trump is being hard on China in regard to that issue. But just randomly deciding to slap on tariffs that actually hurt our workers and our farmers is not the way to go about it. And consumers. And consumers, like because yes. it, Yeah, that's a tax on you. That means that stuff that you buy will be more expensive. And the money that's going to the farmers to supplement their crop yields is is yours. Like I'm just saying like there's no through line. Yeah. Ideologically or strategic. I mean, I guess strategically, he's just like, I need a bunch of people to vote for me in specific places. And so he's That's cobbling right. it together. And it's a form of really like identity politics. It is, it is a form. I love that you mentioned that um, because here's another thing to keep in mind. While he is providing relief for farmers, yes, they are typically individuals who would vote for him. And so he doesn't want to hurt his base and he doesn't want to hurt his future political prospects. However, Remember, he had implemented tariffs much earlier that disproportionately impacted workers in California. Remember when he slapped tariffs onto solar panels, mm -hmm. which by the way are manufactured in China and they are imported here to the United States and and installed in people's homes. So there are companies that don't manufacture them, but they help to install them and that, that was a growing and booming industry here in California. You think Trump provided relief to those workers and those companies? Of course he didn't. Two easy ways to follow the Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below, uh, then you're a TYT subscriber. And second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.